and welcome back to Sorted Food. Now, a little while ago, we asked you guys for your favourite movie snacks, and our normal home cooks took those suggestions, and with our food team, have conjured up three recipes. The question today, with just 20 minutes on the clock, who will create the winning dish? We want ultimate movie battle-winning food in three, two, one, go! Oh, you've actually started it? Okay, gotcha. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to melt some butter in here. Duck fat into a pan. Standard movie snack classic duck fat. What are you making? I'm making hot dogs, Ben. But I'm making a duck ragu hot dogs. Chili dogs, but with a duck ragu. What if I combined nachos and waffles, put nachos in the waffle batter, created nacho jagged shaped waffles, served them with an amazing ranch sauce, cheese, Everything that you want, all in 20 minutes. I mean, Don't I'm down for that. that. You're loving it, I know. Oil, pan, get hot. Shimmer, 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 shimmer. First up, what are you making? Wait. <laughs> Evans, I don't have time to tell you what I'm making. You can it's... multitask, you can break chocolate and talk to me. Right. No, we can't. <laughs> okay, Evans, I am making the ultimate movie snack that everybody loves, popcorn. How do you make popcorn better? Use it in three different ways in a milkshake. First of all, I've got to make my popcorn. Then I'm going to roll half of that in some melted chocolate and then have some popping candy on top. Then I'm going to make a caramel and I'm going to roll the popcorn in that to make popcorn brittle. And then I'm going to blend up the popcorn that's left to make the milkshake. Wow, I'm exhausted just listening to that. What's your definition of a movie snack? Something handheld, something that's not too messy so that you can eat it in the dark and not too noisy. Let's start with a waffle batter. Got eggs, milk, melted butter that I chefily prepped just now. Chefily, chefily prepped. Chives, all in, look at that. I heard a pop. It's popping, it's popping. So far, what are you putting in there? Ground coriander, chili, cumin, and some paprika. Get out. Not easy to get the lids off those things. Also not easy to get a tablespoon into the pot. And as we have learned, it comes out in clumps. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> I've got bad form when it comes to popcorn, Ebbers. Yes, we know. Right, there's some yummy toasty bits in there. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I keep an eye on that. I keep an eye on that. And I keep an eye on this! Yep. Toasty, toasty. So we've given you 20 minutes because Odeon Cinema claim other cinemas are available, that the adverts and trailers run for between 15 and 25 minutes. So bang in the middle, 20 minutes, perfect time to make a snack. Tenuous, but I like so it. So tenuous. Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> what do you mean that looks terrible? Isn't that supposed to be what? <laughs> that, that's not great, is it? Just that bit that hadn't quite melted. 25% of your time gone, but what you've chosen is something that takes hours and hours to cook. This is where the cheat comes in. I'm adding quite a lot of tomato paste, and tomato paste is just slowly cooked tomatoes reduced down. Cook it out and start to blacken it slightly. <coughs> it's definitely fragrant and it fills the mouth as well as the nose. Yes, that's what you want in this cinema. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going in a handful of tortilla chips at a time, and I'm blending. Getting there. So you're juggling popcorn, chocolate, and caramel. And then going in with the second part of my cheat, crispy onions. I know these kind of hacks and shortcuts are things that the food team have been thinking really hard about recently with, with meal packs in mind and sort of those simple ways of getting great results in a fraction of the time. Cooking down onions so they're soft and sweet does take a while. Crispy onions in this, genius. Hand filling, and I'm lidding, and I'm blending stopping. Wait for it to stop popping, stop popping, stop popping. If you stop before stop the popping. popcorn stopped, you end up breaking a tooth on the unpopped kernel. Stop popping. Ah, stop it, it'll be fine. Right. Hey! Oh, right. And then I'm blending. And the reason I'm doing this is because just chucking them all in, I don't want chunks. It has to be smooth because it's a batter. Mustard. Ah, right, steam dry on here. Well, I don't understand why you're so out of breath, Jamie. <laughs> that is all lovely and Blended. The final hack for my ragu is I'm using pre-cooked confit duck. Bought straight from the supermarket, the ones that come in those little plastic bags. I'm going to add flour. I'm going to pulse it, because if I overwork this, it's going to knacker out all the gluten and it's going to be a rubbish batter. <laughs> oh, I didn't season it! Ooh, yes. This is a messy job, ever, so I'm going to glove up. No, refrain. 
Just like one of your normal movie nights, right? Yeah, you said it. <laughs> mix it all up, finally in with some water, mix it up, let that reduce by about half. Could have maybe used one hand and then kept the other hand clean for, you know, other things. But here we are. Let's just season that. Hopefully it's not too late. If this is chewy, it's supposed to be. If it's not, it's supposed to be. Thanks. <laughs> right, now to move on to the, the hot dog bit of my hot dogs. So we're gonna be some bread and charring our frankfurters. The thing with those hot dog buns, they tend to have quite a bit of sugar in them anyway, so they char quite quickly. Oh, oh no, oh, there we go. Whoop, woof, that is preheated. <laughs> What flavour nachos or corn chips did you put in? Ranch flavoured. Thank you for it's a big part asking of me. Recipe, yeah, I thought I'd mention. Interesting oh. you've taken the gloves off before you've done the bit you need the gloves for, which what? was to put them into small bundles. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot one thing. Tomato ketchup. Pre-seasoned sauce. There you go. Closed, clamped and on. In the meantime, I'm going to get on with a cheesy sauce. Use a bowl. Use the bowl. Straight away, because of the flour from those, those onions. Yep, that is burning. Right, I've got time to make another one. That's a relief. The audience and I were fully aware of that long before you were. <laughs> ah! Like I said, those buns tend to have a lot of sugar in yes, them. Yes, they do, Ben. Quickly. I told you the first time. <laughs> You've only had half your time. Really? Wow, OK. This is interesting. Double cream. Extra thick. What is this? High fat content. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Still sugar, just hot sugar. Popping candy. Stick to the chocolate, get a lovely oral pleasure. Right. Bloody long one. You were about to chop that Flip chili and I thought head. you were going to burn another one. <laughs> this stuff, I know you hate it, but it's packed full of so many emulsifiers that if I drop it in, it actually stops the whole mixture from splitting. The reason I'm doing it one by one is because it takes a little while to melt, which is concerning. And I don't want it all just to stick together. So I've got 10 of these to do. So I've got to get a wiggle on. Whip the cream to soft peaks. It's amazing how that slow cooked meat and the batter of the onions thickens the sauce. Emma's look at me multitasking while things are cooking or heating up. I'm just making the most of all the time that I don't have. Look how spicy is this chili? It's a grower. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> That's the warm one. <laughs> it's a grower. Look at the pain on his face. I'm not good with that. Oh. It's all right. You've got eight minutes to recover and then two minutes to plate up. Now the key to whipping cream if it's going on top of a milkshake is to get it bang on. You need the right amount of air in it so it floats. God, there's so many one thing at a time things in this recipe. Recognise these? Yes, they're the studio lactated, not lactated, lacto-fermented, <laughs> which is a careful preservation method we don't want your fingers in, which is why you use utensils, because you'll change the symbiotic relationship between all the yeast and bacteria in I've there. I've got such friendly bacteria <laughs> on my fingers. Oh, yeah, but there's so much going on. I mean, there's not. You've just got a pan of sugar on and you're whipping some cream. Yeah, but... Soft. I'm going to chop these jalapenos up because once my cheesy creamy mixture is all incorporated, I'm going to stir these through. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't put your finger in there. I'm there, not. So stress aside, Jay, what makes the perfect movie snack? Uh, relaxation. <laughs> Let's build this bad boy. Oh, you can afford to go a little bit more batter. Yeah, I can. So you can completely on. cover your bottom pimples. What on earth are you talking about? Just cover them, that's it. And I think that's a bit more you did last time, which I think will work in your favour. You and I had a hard... Pardon, hard corn popcorn night, didn't we? There we go, night, please finish that sentence. <laughs> Can I add any context to that or just leave it no, there? No, the video explains all. Oh, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. You've still got at least six slices of cheese to unwrap. We're not doing that well now. One slice a minute. I think it's remarkable that you've got what looks like a long slice cook done in 10 minutes. 20 grams of popcorn. Bosh, we're in. There's another one. Hey, let's go two at a time. Ignore what I said earlier. We're running out of time. This needs to be very, very bitter because everything else that's going into this milkshake is incredibly sweet. Let's just get the last two in. When this starts to smoke, that's smoke, isn't it? Yeah, let's get this in there. And enough to combine with the caramel. Oh, yummy. Onions on top for texture. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Nope, that'll ruin it. I'm stepping away with time to spare. 15 minutes! 
That's time to eat it and have a full shower because that's how messy you're going to get with it. Oh, I'm happy with that. Do I get extra points for having time to spare? If it tastes good. Ooh. Oh, Ebers. A lot of smoke coming out of that pan now. Yeah, bitter, Ebers, bitter. Two and a half minutes till curtain up. Okay, how are these doing? There we go, a little bit browner than I wish, but no, they're okay. Get this into a fridge, that'll cool down. Whoa! No! 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 It's fine. Good save. What are you worrying about, Ebers? Such a panicky. Get... I can't use anything metal. The chopstick doesn't go in. Here we go. Oh, don't put that Ouch. Much better now they're a bit thicker. <laughs> you have 90 seconds left. You don't want to miss the start of the movie. No, I don't. Look at that. It's the dribbles we were looking for, isn't it? Okay, so I want these now cut into wedge art. Triangles like off of nachos ever, see? Or just quarters of waffle either or. We'll do like bigger chunks. Oh, this hasn't set up. Ah! Don't have a blast chiller. No, but we do have a minus 25 degrees freezer. Look, I'm even gonna put some in here for you for while you're in the movie theater. 30 seconds. Right, that's it, the chocolate's gotta come out. 20 seconds. Oh, that's a good consistency. Thank you, Abaz. I am so terrible at doing that. Some spring Ten seconds. around. Have I forgotten anything? Crumble some extra nachos on last minute. Yes, that was it. Three, two, wait, one. He's gone for the double straw. Stop. No! Forgot the paprika. We all know how heavy handed you are with that. I'm too tired to watch film. You need to sit down on the sofa and have a rest, mate. <laughs> Three twists on movie snacks, all created in roughly 20 minutes. What do you mean roughly? Some of you didn't use all of your time, and some of you missed your final paprika sprinkle because wow, you ran out of time. It was optional smoke paprika. Some of us were bang on time. Your second batch of waffles, bang on. I think you got the right quantity, and I quite like the green colour. Get it right, mate. Second mate. Batch. Yeah, the first batch. Got to get it right, haven't you? That combo of cheese and pickled jalapeno is so good. And these become just the mop for it. But the fact that that is also green and kind of ranchy, it's quite clever. The waffle batter method, smart. It was all kind of pulled together just in time, albeit a fair amount of panic. Obviously, right on brand. <laughs> Do you feel like it's missing any paprika? No. No? Oh. oh, do you want some? How interesting. It is interesting, it's lovely. It's definitely a good film stack. You're not going to annoy the people around you. I can tell that that's really bad for me because I love it. <laughs> you made a hot dog. What I think is clever here is you didn't use all of your time. Let's see if it delivers. A 15 minute ragu. Shut your mouth. Not even that. I can 10 minute ragu. It's Same. quite a messy. Again, other hand, arm out. See, perfect. That is movie food. This is how Ben actually goes to the cinema. <laughs> There's no one next to him. It's just pretend. I know. I know. Ragu surprised me. It Look like a really slow cooked ragu in 10 minutes. The level of spice and flavour you've packed into that for 15 minutes is really good. Crispy onions, sour cream, soft bun, incredibly messy for movie snack, but we didn't invent this, you just invented a twist on it. Oh, mmm. Duck and a frankfurter. That is a combo I'd never thought I'd taste together. Who knew? A duck dog. I like that. Mm. Very much in control, very much using cheats and hacks from your crispy onions to your pre-cooked duck and your tomato paste. So I like that. And now for the monster on the end. That's harsh. <laughs> no, not harsh. harsh. <laughs> nice tip, though. Nice I'm going to break it apart so that we can share it before I slurp from it. He's taken all of the freak out of my shake. And you're yeah. happy with the smeared rim? The rim didn't go quite as I wanted it to, if I'm honest. Did you <laughs> on it? <laughs> I can't work it out. Oh, that is indeed 
an oral sensation. That is popping oh, all over the candy. place. Mm -hmm. Who knew? So blending that popcorn into the actual shake gives you a really interesting texture. You've got different tastes, different textures. It's really nutty. Peanut punch. It's 100% incredibly rich, but you're right, it's not that sweet. And then, of course, you get to the chocolate wrapped popcorn, and the caramel was good. A couple of things that could have let you down. Presentation. What? For love of sex. Ebbers, it's dark in the cinema. And if the caramel isn't bitter enough, hasn't got that salty fleck, and gets stuck in your teeth. It has two of those things, not the third. So tick, tick, tick. Oh, that's such a confusing way to say that that was a good thing. <laughs> so, which one would I want to enjoy in front of a movie sat on the sofa? I think this one, albeit delicious and full of hacks, needs a knife and fork. It's not a sofa handheld easy movie snack. Super tasty, but third place. Whoa, 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 whoa. Out of three though, so. Clever use of popcorn, the obvious movie snack. Clever use of nachos, classic movie snack. They're both doing similar things. Today's winner. For most interesting twist is that one. Yes! Oh no! Putting the corn chips into the batter with the herbs takes it to a slightly different place and I really like well it. Played. It's good. Oh, thanks Evers. Thanks really guys. Good. You've made Ben enjoy nacho sauce. I know. Mm. I would happily Netflix and fill with any of these. <laughs> what just happened? Oh. Well, over to you. Comment down below if you agree with Ben's winner. Uh, and if you've been personally affected by any of Ben's puns <laughs> in this video, comment down below. Support is available. Have you ever got to the end of a long day with no ideas, ingredients, or energy to cook? Takeaway? Hmm, it'll be the fourth this week. Well, that's why we built our revolutionary Meal Packs app. Thousands of people are using it to shop, cook, and eat a whole lot better and easier while saving money as a result. You can go and use it in its entirety for free for a whole month and see if it's for you. The link is in the description box below. And now for the blooper. Chopstick. Where is a chopstick? Use a chopstick <laughs> as if it's a <laughs> obvious thing to use. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs>